Yamaruk Nation headed out to do another video to give you insight into Teshua. Here I am. It is cold here too. Ah. Quite chilly here. Southern part, South Carolina. Quite chilly. Headed out to the video. This is out of my back door. This is what it looks like here. This is my simple home. This is what I call the computer lab. They're in class today and we're going to just take a look inside. And see what they're doing. The students, they all see Poppy. That's what they call me, Poppy. I'm going to go inside and let them all say shalom. All right. These are water tanks that we utilize everything we can. We're going to have a little fellowship out here after the Shabbat. Roasting marshmallows and everything. So we're going to go inside for them. All right. Here they go. Everyone say shalom. Shalom. These are students, our little babies, too. Yes, ma'am. Say shalom, shalom. Say shalom, Israel. And Sam, so pretty. You are. You're here studying the computers and everything. So, Yabaruch, everyone, look at that. My other little pretty one. Come on up here and say shalom. Come up here. You don't want to come? That's it. Oh, look at you. All right, I'm not going to make you come. All right, Yabaruch, everyone. We'll see you all. This is a class, a lab, computer lab. This is the nucleus of the community here. That stove right there. That creates the hot water for the shower, for the dining hall and everything. That's a shower house there. I'm going to walk, give you a little view this morning. And um, this is our dining facility. That's where Ema Sabel lives. That house is empty. We'll go back that way later on. That's the, um, the laundry room on the end there where those pavers are. We're going to beautify that but this is the catalyst for the community as far as heat and we create hot water from this and everything right here cats everywhere they come to run to take care of all the rats I don't see rats around anything around here squirrels they take care of them this is again our Zakhin Ya Ramiya's house I pay two thousand three thousand thirty two hundred dollars for this home his wife, his children. It's a very beautiful home. He built the upstairs and everything. His office. And it's a beautiful home that they take care of him. This is another beautiful home across from him. We had a family there. And they left. And now it's somewhat of a furniture storage. We have homes here, but we don't just bring anyone in here. The sun is out now, but it is chilly. It is cold. That's how we do things here. Everyone. I don't see no cars there. We have, we have wonderful vehicles. That you just come and get a car. That's how you do it. Ah, the goats are out. I want to... I'll show you that today. Zakhenya Aramiya's home in the back here. And my little home there. Simple but livable. You must understand there was nothing here when we came here but rattlesnakes, copperheads, and ticks. So we have vehicles of all kind. Big shop over there. I'll introduce that to you. 
Let me say to any of you all, I will not recommend too many goats if you're going to you're gonna have something of this nature. We have had as many as 200 goats, and they will give you trouble. Yep. 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 You see how they go. They know. Look at them. I'll, we'll meet them around. They believe it's food. I recommend sheep. You see how the sheep were crying? They're coming. We have a beautiful community. It saddens me that people, we have learned to be selfish. Can I say this? There's nothing in this life that you're going to take with you. Yep. Yep. I'd rather be at Shalom and the Achim, daughters of Tizayon, and live in Great Shalom. I'm happy here. Yep. Yep. These are the sheep. I will recommend sheep. Yep. They're more docile than goats are crazy as bedbugs. Yep. 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 I'm not the one that feed them, but our young Akim. They feed them. But that's how we get them in position. Feed them. Well, let me see if I can get a little closer. The sun is a nuisance this morning. This is the community here. Beautiful colors. Place to enjoy. Raise your children in the fear and the nurture of Yah. That's what we do. I don't bull job and I don't play with no one. So don't come here for some kind of laughter encounter. I don't go that way. Never have and never will. Look at the sheep. Yep. 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 These are the sheep. Old barns we built, we are in disrepair, but we'll get it done. All the beautiful land we have here. Yep. Beautiful sheep. I'll show you some rams. You see those big old rams there? They may got some babies there. That ram like that will cost you, it depends, probably a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred. We had probably two hundred or better sheep. But it's we're not as large as we once were. These are sheep. A community. You know, it amazes me when people come in here. They are dry they will drive slow just to see. Because they are amazed. They are not cold. Well, that's all right. I'm not concerned with that. You live in neighborhoods whereby you know no one. Where there are those that despise you. And they don't want you there. Everyone here is wanted. Because it belongs to them, not this man. These leaders today, the Hebrew Israelite leaders. I don't know if any... I know of another community, but I would not, I would not even mention it. That's one of our ponds, too. Now, there are bass and everything in there. The young Akim, they come fishing. I, these are some goats. I would not, we, I try to keep the herd around 25 to 30. When they get above that, we butcher. These villages, yep, yep, yep. We got to trim their hoofs. That one needs to be trimmed. We'll get it. I'm going to take a little walk up the road and I'll show you. Continue this journey. The roads must be done. We need to do all that. We need to get them and trim them and take care of them for the winter. And uh, make sure those things are done. You see, these are pastures. 
So beautiful that is, green. He has blessed us to own all of this land. He has positioned me to be the negotiator. He has given me favor with people, men of every hue of skin complexion. I don't play with them, I don't tell jokes. And there was a Caucasian man that drilled the wells for us. He said, you ever heard of the black and white boy joke? Or I said to him, I'm fit then. I looked at his face. And I said, we tell no jokes around here. You tell no jokes. He says, no dirty words. I said, sir, you tell no jokes here. We love to clown and bull jive. I don't play that game. That is not the construct of this community. Not with me and with the Achim. And the daughters, they have their fellowship. Well, what about me coming as a man just sitting down with the daughters? You don't do that here. Men fellowship with men. I'm not fellowshipping with any other man's wife. Daughters fellowship with daughters. And the sons of Yisrael, we fellowship with each other. And that's the way it is. And no other. There are people that want to come. Oh, I helped. The no, you don't come here, mind doing that. You want to help come out with me? We'll work. I'll see. I'll put you through the toss. These little soft young men today, they're soft. I'm a monster. Let me show you. You see all this fence right You see all of this fence right here, all this black fence in the paneling. You see all of that. I want to show you. You see all of that fence? I did 90% of this by myself. My auction repainted it. And I took one of our young sons, Yavasadak's son, and he and I. So you can't tell me anything about working. And the same thing on this side as well. I had the Akim to help me and they did most of the work. But this is how we do it, beautiful place. We got things in here. This is the year of rest for our garden, our gardens. And so what we do, many people will rest their gardens but they don't even know why they're resting the land. It will rebuild the soil, but the most important thing, Yisraya will rest every seven years. So they had to sow because what was in the garden that would come up, it was meant for the poor, and the poor would come, and they could green the field. So in there we got peas, we got all kinds of greens, and everything. We got clover to make the soil rich. That's how we do it. This is our community. Beautiful it is. And there's one thing I don't play with, the speed limit. You're gonna do five here. You see this car right here? He's doing five. That's one thing I don't play with. I got new signs that I'm putting up much more illuminating and all of that. But I don't play with that. Nah. They come in here, well, I say, sure, we got it posted everywhere. You do five. And that's what you do, ma'am. Don't give me that. I said, I got cameras everywhere. We see and we know. We got a system that will record. This is our friend here. He's on. This is Akshango right here. Let me. Okay. This is Akshango. Come on, say shalom. Say shalom, shalom, shalom okay. Question, let me ask you. Do, do you all have any of those, um, uh, the marshmallows in? You know, the kosher ones, because the children want to have a, uh, on Saturday night, they want to roast marshmallows and they want to get some honey graham crackers. They want to do all that. Yes, sir. I'm going to look on the uh, on the computer and see what's going on with it. Yeah. Do you have it in the store, though? Um, I did. I haven't put my hands on it. 
Just look today and if you got some, give me a holler. I know that's hard for you to do, yes, but give me a call, please, all right? Yes, that's our ox shingle. Yes, sir. Yabaruk, my friend, be safe out there. Yabaruk. Yes, so we're looking for a marshmallow roast without the pork in that. Make sure my friend Shane. All right, Yabaruk. He's on his way to work, and I'm glad. I, but these are, this is how we live. I want to show you just a little bit today, about a 30-minute video. I want to keep you interested. I don't want to make them long. Hallelujah to our King. You are sure the mighty one of Israel. Oh, sing hallelujah to the King of Israel. Yeshua, my Redeemer, He is. Let me show you. This is where my lives here. Now, I'm not going to show you much more. We're going to... This is... I built this basically. I built this by myself here. I built this. Maybe had just a little help. Just a beautiful entrance into the community. I want to put a menorah there, but I've never gotten around to all these beautiful rocks. Stones, these are stones, they come from off these grounds. This type land where we are, they call it, it's nothing but milk. The soil is not worth a dime. It doesn't produce, but we eat from here. We'll eat peas out of there. See that five miles an hour? See the beauty of this? Look at all that. And this is just a small scintilla of the land that we own. Zakim Biramin's home here. Nation above all things, we need water. You need water for everything. And we have five tremendous wells. We have one just designated for the dining hall. Some of the most pristine water you can drink. You that drink that Deer Park water, it's 25 miles from here, the plant. that They draw from the wells of this ocean underneath the grounds here. There's a volume of water here. As a matter of fact, we have when they laid the pipelines for everyone to become a part of that system, we did not. That there is enough water here on the ground, that they could run lines all the way to California, and it will last them for the next 100 years. The volume is tremendous. This is our Zahim Birmese home here. He is our guard. He watches for us. You don't get past him. Trees that we're gonna have to trim. Look at those beautiful trees. Beautiful well here. You set him and mama between the tree and just swing. But there's a well there. This is his home. Pastor yards or pastor fields all around him. And this is our guest house here. One of them. So when people come, when we allow them to say, no, you don't come here the first time and stay. Because I know how crazy people are. This well here, and you see that little brick building up there? There's a well. Let me let him know that now the top is off. Watch this, how we communicate. Joaquin Bidamin, Bidamin. That's one of... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This well house over here in the field, the top is off. I just noticed it. By your house, the guest house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The roof is off. You all go ahead and get that on there, please, sir. Get the roof back on, please. All right. And so that's a guest house where we... Put the people to live. It's so okay, bit of me, you buy him. And he is a tremendous entertainer with people, not foolishness, but he will take care of you. He has always done that. We got well, 19 minutes. We got a few more. It's chilly out here, my friends. 
And when I say chilly, it's chilly. Look at the beauty of that. We, yeah, we have privacy fence around the front and down the side. The house next door, we, we had put up $12,000 because the tax delinquency and the people paid the ta taxes. We're trying to get that home. I want it for us. Look at the beauty of the community. See how beautiful that is? It's beautiful. I love it. It's chilly here, and I love it today. I don't like cold weather like I used to, to own. But it is certainly chilly here. This is our view. The goat barn down there, we built that right here from throwaway. Preacher man, you want that? You want about this thin? I do. How much? I'll tell you what. I'll take 200 for it all. That's how they would. I take 200. I say, I tell you what. I'll give you 150. You bring it to me. Deliver it. Preacher, you drive a hard bargain. I like you. We'll, we'll solidify that deal. I'll do it for you. Wouldn't do it for no one else but you. That's all right. And I'm glad I can deal with you. This is Teshua, Hebraic of the Hebrew community, of those that have come from under the bondage of this world. We're free. And that's a fact. We're not in any kind of bondage. I wanted to make this video today because I want to come on live, not live, but do a video tonight concerning this Jewish issue. I don't even understand those that are Hebrew Israelites. They're defiant when it comes to that issue, I made you. And it has no meaning at all. That's so stupid. The word Jew has no meaning. Neither the word Semitic, Shemite, Semite. It's not found in the Torah. And if it's not found there for me, it has no meaning at all. I have no problem with them calling themselves Jews. Not me. You call yourself Jew all day long. This is the entrance of our community. See, that size says Yisraelite community. And this size says Teshua Hebrew community. I got lions, but I haven't put them up. We got the rear truss. Redo that. That's an alarm there that lets us know. And see on these post cameras, one, two, three. You hear that sound? And this is Yahweh's congregation in Yoshua Hamashiach. And this is our property here. It goes all the way up. This is our property as well. You can't, you may not can see, but you'll get a chance to see it. I'll show you. This is where we live. And if you look down this road, I'll go down on the road. And everything on the left-hand side belongs to us. From the steps of my house, all the way down to the end of our property. We have another piece that is so beautiful. It is 1.2 or 3 miles that's what we own. And then we have purchased property in another place. We just purchased it because there's one thing that an old country he'll be. He had land. Poor. He wasn't poor. Forgive me for that. He said to me, preacher, I had one job in my whole life. Yvonne. He said, I went on that job and I work and I tell you. For one hour. He said, I quit. I walked off. And I've never had a job again. This is, let me show you this and we're going to go back across it. This is a place, this is our property that I purchased these. Just people would come in and see how they could acclimate and bathe and things. They would have to come across the street. And put toilets in here and all of that. But this is part of our property. All of this. this is where we split out wood and everything. All the tools we need to work. 
this is where the Achim hunt. I'm just gonna walk over and give you a glimpse. We're in the process of cleaning it up because that's one of our resources of money. We are experts in tree services. We got all the splitters and everything. We need log splitters to split wood. And that's how we do things. I just, we just purchase like these barrels here. There's old white boy, he likes me. And I like him too. And he doesn't cut me deals, he does right by me. He says to me one day, he says when he met me, you know what I did? He said, Raymond, I tell you one thing. When you get home because you had to come and deliver this, I'm giving you this money besides what I owe you. And you better take your wife out to dinner. I mean that. I showed him the community and all. He sold me these barrels right here for one dollar a piece. I can sell them for five and make money. I don't want to. See that? These tanks right here? These 250 gallon tanks. You make and find them for fifty dollars in your area. But you're going to pay minimum fifty to one hundred, one hundred fifty dollars. See all these beautiful tanks here? He says to me, preach, I will never go up on the price what I charge you. Thirty dollars, not thirty, but thirty dollars. I will charge you. You can see what we do with them. I use them for catching water off the homes and all that. But this is one thing I do with them. Cut them off and make toast for flowers, for foods. When I organize them, they'll look pretty when I finish. And put trim on every side. Two by fours to make them look very beautiful. This is our land. This is part of our land. I throw away nothing. I will show you my junk pile in later videos. And this, we got to get this squared away. What we plan to do, Yah grants us the funds. We're going to get a sawmill. And so when the Achim go out, they will cut trees a long length. And we can make our own wood to build. I want to build a cabin before I leave this world. This is where, this is part of our community. We heat with wood, everything. This is how we live, simple and beautiful. I love it. I love it. See all that pasture? We can feed our animals. And this is wood here. We gotta, we don't turn down anything. Preacher, you won't doubt us, I'll take it. This metal, you can always sell the metal. And this is our wood pile. We got logs and wood to split. We got plenty of this, these piles like this is for our wood, for our boilers, for, for creating hot water and things like that. This here, what I'm saying, this, I am, we are building a barn here. 100 foot long, where we can expand it as long as we want to. Yah give us, he gives us favor with men. Joaquin Yah Ramayah is a very brilliant, beautiful man that will lead this place in my absence. And this tin here, this is going to be the roof. Colorful and beautiful. I didn't realize that we'll get that. But that is the tin we purchase. We did the roof. This barn off the back is going to have a wood mill where we can cut. We're all getting older so we can do things to, to make money with less labor. It's going to be a barn here just to run the power here to here. Just the wire we had to put on the ground. How much was that? It was nearly $5,000. 
These are the bins here. I show you how we take wood to every home. We're going to stop here. But if you look at these bins, we fill them with wood. We take them to the homes. And so this is how we heat our homes. You can see them all lined up on the fence over there. Nothing but wood bins. We do that. This is what we get from our service. All this mulch. We can see the mulch. These are the telephone poles that I purchased. Mm, I went a long way to get these. I purchased these for, I believe, the $15 a pole. You can't find them that cheap, my friends. Y'all gives us favor with people. This is a mulch pile, one that we've had at least 15 years, probably. And you can see where they come over here and they drop it down. They don't need no silhouettes. This is how these Akima hunters, look at that, look at that pattern, look at these patterns. And they all are marksmen when it comes to that weapon. As a matter of fact, in one of those Calcia new shotgun. You have guns there? Well, I'll let you figure that out. But this is that. And so, uh, again, I say, Ben's for what? I want to show you just one more thing. This is a beautiful piece of property over here. I said to one of the Akeem, my plan was to put you and your family on this side. Make this, this is just a beautiful piece of land. We throw away nothing. We use it. Preacher, you want this wood? Well, look what we got out of it. And this is just a small portion of it. We'll burn that. Look at that. I can use that to make flower beds and all of that. And I will. How much you charge to turn this down? I will charge you $700. You see back to all of those beautiful red trees back there? You see those that uh, the leaves are changing. Our land goes all the way beyond that. That's where the Achim hunt. And on that side, we got a deer last night. I throw nothing away. All that old wood that was beds and garden beds, tore it up, but I'll use it again. I'll recycle it. And this is our home here. Do you see why I will not allow anyone to destroy the integrity of our home? Come here with some bull jive thinking that they are Superior, superb. They know everything. They know everything, and yet they don't even know how to care and love. And this is our place. Can tell you everything about Yah, and their lives are a despicable, hellish lifestyle. You don't come here with us with that. Well, you don't know nothing about me. Don't want to. It's not my business. As the old saying, you be you, and I do me here. We welcome. There have been people come as far as the islands. There was a family that came all the way across the ocean. Where were they from? <sighs> Where were they from? It was a place near, I don't know if it was near Saudi Arabia, but they came all the way. The first gift and the offering when I began to broadcast. The brother sent me money and he sent $300. He says to me, don't write me back because it will be trouble for me. He was in Dubai. He sent a $300 offering. I made a copy of that check. That's where 
Well, he no Hebrew. This is one of the most insane stupidity of people that look like me. They call themselves Hebrew Israelites. The nation, Yah promised us the land from the onslaught between the great Nile. Where is that? Well, I don't care if it be in Africa, Africa. You know where is that? And he promised us a land all the way to the east of that, unto the Euphrates River. And the Garden of Adon was not some little garden like we have here. It stretched, lied between the two rivers. It was 40 days before Yah even allowed Ab uh, Adom to begin to understand the beauty of this. He knew that there would be room for five billion people. Abraham's seed is not in America. This lie that they promote about 1619, it's a lie. And I'm going to dispel that lie by the historian slavery started way before that. Well, how could the Indians there were here? Them down were slaves. We are stopped. And we bow the stupidity of their lies because we're lazy. I'm going to teach on the Jewish thing tonight. And everything I use will come from the Jewish scholars. What I want to teach on why folks I go with this scholarship. Black folks, I go with this. And I will show you tonight what is a Jew. Tell me. We don't know. Let me say to you, my friends, be encouraged, Shad. Be strengthened by the comfort of Yah. I'm going to walk back over. I don't like the glaring of the sun. And I'm going to get ready to do, take care of things. We have service tonight. Join us tonight, Keats V. Imats. Every Wednesday, now Shabbat's teachings on midweek to give us strength to press on. But this is our beautiful community here. I just wanted to share with you. That's ugly word, but I tell you, it burns. As the videos mount, I will show you the whole parameter. I am just showing you certain segments and places. How important things are, what we do. Beautiful place. My desire was to buy all, you see that there's what they call a pono, that's a lake. I could have gotten that it was an investment for school teachers, the funds for retirement. I didn't have the money. We did not. I could have gotten that piece of land back then for 200000 It sold for nearly a half million. And there was a man that wanted me to be a part of the co-op. He said, man, listen. He was the president. He said, the only thing you got to do, four times a year, we must make, one time we must make a trip to Washington, D.C., to lobby Congress. And we go everywhere, from California to Maine, for a week. Full expense, finest of hotels. I want you on that council. Murray said to him, I don't have time. In some way, not that I regret that, but if I had been a part of that, I would have been... In click and two, I could have got that land for less than that. But I don't regret that. And I did not want to be a part of that. I did not. This was my labor of life here, this communal construct, that it would be an example for people throughout the world. If you come together collectively, you can buy the world, you can own it, people. People of your here, my here, don't have to beg no one. And that is one thing I establish here. We don't beg no damn body. This land was sold to us by a young Caucasian man. 33 years old, he was a millionaire. I said to him one day, ride with him in his 55 Bel Air. He said, I want you to drive this old tad. I don't want to drive that. He said, man, drive this car. He was a graduate of Citadel here in South Carolina. 
master's from the University of South Carolina, his undergrad from South Carolina, his grad from Citadel. He would tell me things. I like your reach. He sold me this land, us this land. He gave me $3,000 of his money. He was a Southern Baptist, and I knew how to discuss the Southern Baptist issues. I don't play with no one. He locked me for my honesty and forthrightness. I said to him, there's another piece of land you own. I want that. And what he did, I said, I'm going to take, I'm going to take this check and I'm going to write you a check for $3,000 for that piece of land. And he said to me, Riyak I wait. I don't care how long it takes you to pay for anything that we're under, con under contract. He said it will never be taken from you. And I know he would not have done that. Yah gives us favor with all people. He gives us favor with Gentiles and I don't care who it is. Those that are a part of the cap of Yisra'ya. He gives us favor. He has given us favor here. We're going to enter into the property here. And what we're going to do, the old man is... You hear that? That's the alarm. Let's just know when you come in. This is our beautiful land. We'll get a chance to go down there and see the big pond in the woods and all of that. Speed limit five. The roads need. We got we got a five thousand dollar piece of equipment to do our roads, but our Achim are busy and all of that. We got a tractor, a one hundred horsepower tractor. One of those, uh, Kubota. We have tractors galore. And this is our community. Look at the trees. The beautiful, aren't they? Look at that. Big old squirrel nest up there. I don't know if you can see it, but look at our trees. All oh, these are trees. And we don't cut any of them down. And they fall, we cut it up for wood. Five miles an hour, children that play. We're going to put... These signs down here, five miles on every post. But this is our community here. I enjoy it. I love it. I appreciate it. It has been the catalyst for my life. That little barn I was showing us, that little goat's barn. Barn. Everything was... We may have... $700 in that at the max. We didn't have money when we came here. We couldn't do all these things, so someone had to take an approach that would alleviate the cost. And I did that. Yah taught me. He gave me beautiful Achim around me to strengthen me. And the daughters of Tuzayan as well. Beautiful pond there. Goat. I'll remind you people, goats are not anything you want to play with. If you got 100 goats, you need at least 100 acres of pasture. They need an acre a piece. That's, that's, and that's being modest. We had 200 at one time. Boar goat. We had Nubians for milk. Look at all of that. Look at those trees. Ah, that's beautiful. Beautiful oaks. Popular. We got another piece of land. I show you some beautiful trees on that land. All of this simple living. You see, that's what I said. The camera's here. We see you when you come in. That's one. You're not coming down on us by surprise, no one. And don't even come unless you inform me. You send me an email or call me. 
and that's how we do the way we do it. It's how to be done the way you want it, my friends. Beautiful place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so Had it. They're taking care of that. You'll go ahead and put that roof on that. Some of that tin has blown off across there. Put something, stack that tin back, and then uh, uh, put something heavy on it. Okay. Zal zorgen bij de minnaakje Joseph in. Dat is Shalom Shalom. All right. You see that boy that looks like he's white as well. His father is an Hungarian you know, from the birth as his birthright from his father's womb. Beautiful brother that been with me 24 years. He helped build this. He worked. He has given. This is our home. And this is our place. We welcome you to visit. We don't allow anyone the first time visiting to stay here. We used to, but we stopped that because people are nutty. They're crazy. Period. You're welcome to dine with us in our beautiful dining facility and eat, and we eat wonderful. I don't care if we have to buy meat or anything. We buy, I don't want to say the best, but what we buy from, it's, I would say it's quality food. Teshua Hebrew community. See that, Teshua? This is our community. This is where we live. This is the beauty of fellowship. I tell you, Zoc King did a wonderful job on that home of his. He built all that. Places for our babies to play, play without drug dealing or some kind of creep around them. And so he granted us to buy this land. The man that sold us this land, when he came, he said, that preacher, I said, that man is going to try to build on a coat. He cried. Even with what limited progression we had made, he cried. He literally did. He owned land. He made his money in the 60s. He locked me. There are very few people that could talk to him the way I did. And I would tell him, Mr. C, shut your mouth. You talk too much. That's your problem. And he would listen. He saw this, he just went, Preacher, come here. When I saw him again, he said, Come here. Come here. Man, he said, he, he had, I got huge hands. He had a monstrous set of hands. Six foot. Uh, Mr. C was about six foot five, six, six. 300 pounds. He was a man's man. Believe me. He had killed four men. He had shot 17. He told me his life. But y'all caused his heart to move in our favor. We got this land for little of nothing. 25,000 dollars. I could sell it to the gold mine for quarter of a million is worth 100 million to us. I say to you, my friends, my enemies, Yabrook, and may the shalom of Yah fill your heart this day. Yabrook, shalom, shalom. <laughs>